This episode is sponsored by Prime Video. Dude, guess what we're making today? What? We're making Durin's Hammer from the new Prime Video series, The Rings of Power. Dude, I don't like dwarves. I don't like mines that give you black lines. It's just not the right time for it. Well, oh, I love dwarves. Let's make a first war hammer on this channel. Now that we have our carrot tapered out, it's time to isolate some material in the center, flatten it so we can then punch our hole. That was awesome. We forged the entire thing by hand.
Because my profession is a grinder, I absolutely appreciate these large forged builds, especially when they're forged all the way to shape because, well, there's barely any grinding. Working from the first images led us to accidentally reimagine the source material and make the hammer square. Now we have to go back and fix the problem, turning it into, from a square into a hexagonal cross section. As my colleague alluded to, when we started the forging on this project, we used one single image as our reference. That image happened to be face on, so we didn't see the top and the bottom of this hammer. Upon further review of some of the videos that we have, when we were looking exactly how the handle fit to the hammer, we noticed the tops and the bottom of the hammer have very steep angles, and we don't want to make the hammer any smaller. So to create those peaks, we're going to add some overlays to the back spike and correct the rest in the forging. Now's a good opportunity to give a little bit of backstory, a little bit of lore behind this hammer of Doran's that we're making. Now we're calling it a hammer. Perhaps it's meant to be an axe because they do reference the axe of Doran in some of the stories and it plays a very crucial role. But I believe this is a bit of a hybrid or perhaps it's just meant to be a stone breaking hammer because of its very dramatic face. The sharp angles don't look like they'd be meant to be used in war but more so to break stone and we see him using it to mine what looks to be the gemstone that will be later used in the rings of power now speaking of the rings of power i believe this doran would be doran the third because he was around during the forging of the rings with the show now released we know that this character is actually doran the fourth now there are seven kings of the dwarves named Doran, and they all were in direct lineage of Doran the First, or Doran the Deathless. He was one of the seven first dwarves to ever live, and each of the kings of the Longbeard clan derived in direct lineage from him. Now there's a lot more to go into that story, but basically Doran found the caves that became the mines, and they did a lot of carving out and a lot of intricate building to create the empire of the dwarves and that is the main reason why i think the design of this particular weapon or tool if you will is absolutely perfect for doran the third because it is a mining tool that could also be used in battle So one of the major decisions we have to make in doing a build like this is what scale we're going to make it as. Now we have some good photos and some teaser videos of Doran where his hammer comes up to about his belly button. So that gives us a general scale. However, he's a dwarf. And in Tolkien's lore, dwarves are very, very small. So we have to decide if we were going to make this hammer the size of a dwarf would use, or are we going to do it like we decided to do and make it to the scale of a human? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make it our size. That way it looks and has the same presence in our hands as it would endurance. At 
first we thought that the handle was entirely made out of metal, but upon closer examination, we realized that it's actually a wood core that is clad in some sort of a metal banding. To create the metal overlays, we're going to start with the two halves, form them separately, apply them to the wood, and start attaching them. In the source material, we see a lot of markations, a lot of damage on the hammer head itself. And if you guys have been following me, you guys know I hate to add battle damage on the weapons that we make. I don't like to make them look used. However, there's no need to reimagine the source material. In this case, we're going to go ahead and add that battle damage in using a hammer and a chisel. The holdy part of the shaft has lines to prevent slippage or something like that that resemble a knurling pattern. To achieve that, we first draw them and then start making small cuts with an angle grinder. In addition to the steel, there are brass decorative elements that have all kinds of signs and runes on them. So we're going to take some brass we have left over from previous projects and start cutting out the rough forms. We actually made some of the parts that should be brass out of steel so that we could weld them and attach them solidly to the other steel parts. To turn them brass, we use a little bit of heat from a torch and a brass wire wheel that deposits the brass onto the surface of steel, leaving the yellow color.
Outside of fantasy lore, runes are a legit form of writing. However, in the real world, they were derived from the Roman alphabet with one drastic change. In actual runes, you never see a horizontal line. They're always diagonal or vertical. And the reason is, most runic script is written or was written on wood or wood-like structures. And if you think about it, if you're writing on wood, a horizontal line will make you lose and misinterpret the letter. That's why most runic alphabets are diagonal or vertical, never horizontal. Ilya and I have both waited a long time to return to a build from Middle Earth. And I think this one turned out spectacularly. With a few more hand finishing touches, this hammer will be complete and goes to show you what can happen when elves and dwarves work together. These old forging builds are always awesome. And once again, thank you to our sponsor, Prime Video. When I woke up a week ago, I couldn't imagine to make a first Warhammer on this channel. And if you like this build, make sure to check these out. I'm sure you like them. I'm out. <laughs>